Hi there, welcome to this getting started video on using programs and presets inside of Hellion. Of course, Hellion is a creative tool, so the main reason for using it would be to create your very own sounds. But to start with, let's look at loading a factory preset. It's really easy. You simply drag a preset out of the media bay and into an empty slot. Alternatively, you can just double click on a preset inside of the media bay. But let's just stop here and go back a step. We really wanna be making our own sounds. So I'm gonna show you what a program is. Empty programs are housed down in the bottom right-hand corner of Hallion in the program table. To load a program in order to access its sound or create a sound, we need to drag it up into the slot rack. To do this, you simply pick up on a program and drag it up and drop it into the slot rack section. A program can house a simple sound or a complex collection of sounds with effects, MIDI modules, and buses. You can specify one of 64 MIDI channels, one of 32 stereo or six surround sound outputs. You can change the level of the program and also move the pan. Now we have an empty program slot. It's time to load a preset into that slot. Click on the Load Record tab and the Media Bay tab to get access to the Media Bay, which is a categorized library of all the sounds that are housed inside of Hellion 6. Select all instrument sets to view all of the diverse instruments that come inside of Hellion. Let's say I'm after a piano sound. It'd take ages for me to go through all of the individual instruments to look for a piano sound. The Media Bay can instantly search this vast collection of sounds to help us find the sound that we're looking for. A great library will have everything neatly categorized and organized to make it as easy as possible for us to find a specific sound. The Media Bay is incredibly flexible. Click on the triangle in the top right hand corner to access the menus and submenus that will allow you to redefine how you search for presets in the media bay. Each instrument inside of Hallion has its own personality and they all draw on a number of unique mechanisms to generate and manipulate sound. I've selected the instrument Anima, which is based on the groundbreaking wavetable synth engine inside of Hallion. Instantly, the media bay narrows its search down and offers me presets that are only housed inside of Anima. We can narrow down our search using the filters and then double click on a preset to load it into the empty slot. Each individual instrument has its own customized user interface. This is called a macro page and you'll find it under the macro tab. Any one program can contain a combination of different elements. So the controls and menus and tabs allow us easy access to these different elements and it makes it really easy for us to start manipulating and affecting the sound. The macro pages also allow us to change things like the modulation matrix, voice control, and arpeggiators and MIDI modules, which allow us to be really creative in the way we trigger these sounds. Quite often the macro pages will link important functionality to things like MIDI pad triggers, which gives us instant access to different arpeggiator variations. We've also got access to eight quick control encoders, which are linked to important sound parameters. And we can very quickly manipulate the sound further by moving these encoders round. The quick controls and the trigger pads can easily be mapped to an external MIDI controller. Now we've had a good look at the front of house. Let's select edit and sound from the menu tab and go over to the program tree to have a look at our signal flow and see what's actually going on behind the scenes. The program tree clearly shows us the signal flow from top to bottom. The macro page is really like a web page in that there's a whole lot going on behind the scenes that you simply don't see. For instance, the arpeggiator in this macro page is actually the Hallian Flex Phraser. So everything that's neatly presented to us in the macro page is logically listed in the program tree. As we move further down the program tree, we can start to see the layers and zones and elements and effects that the sound designers have used to compile each individual program. Now that we've looked at how to access a program and load a preset, it's time to look at removing a program. So to start with, I'm right mouse clicking and saying remove program, but this will only remove it from the slot rack. If I want, I can keep that program loaded into the program table and all of the samples will continue to be loaded into my project. I can also cut programs and paste them elsewhere if I need to. Once again, there's a prompt associated with this. Finally, we can have multiple programs in the slot rack. If we wanna remove them all at once, we can click on the trash can icon and it will remove all of the programs. You'll notice that the macro is still there and the program is still in the program tree and in the program table. We're gonna be throwing these Hellion tutorial videos at you thick and fast. So please have a good look around, subscribe to our YouTube channels and follow us on social media for plenty more tips on how you can be creative with Hellion. I'll see you over in the next video.